mahal ni Jesus ang mga bata. In fact, sa book of Mark chapter 10, pinagbawala ni Jesus ang mga disciples niya na pinipigilan ng mga batang lumapit sa kanya. Kasi si Jesus, tuwang-tuwa siya na yung mga bata ay lumalapit sa kanya at siya naman ay pinibless niya ang mga batang ito. Pero bakit nga ba gustong gusto ni Jesus ang mga bata? Ano bang meron sa bata na naging espesyal para kay Jesus? Sabi nga niya sa Book of Mark na ang sino man ay dapat tanggapin ang paghahari ng Diyos tulad ng isang bata. Bakit? Ano bang meron sa isang bata? Kasi ang bata ay buong puso niyang tinatanggap ang anything na ibinibigay sa kanya. At kapag may sinabi ang kanyang tatay o magulang, ito ay uh, kanyang tinatanggap ng walang pagtatanong. Diba? Kumbaga, uh, lahat ng problema niya, binibigay niya sa kanyang ama. At ganoon din ang gusto ni God sa atin, na kailangan tanggapin natin ang kingdom niya na katulad ng sa bata. At tayo ay buong pusong tatanggapin ito na hindi na natin ito uh, kukwestiyonin o hindi na natin ito uh, tatanungin, bakit Lord, bakit kailangan kong gawin ito? At lahat ng problema and worries natin about salvation ay dapat katulad ng bata na lahat ng problema natin ay itinataas natin sa ating Panginoon. Kaya kayo mga bata, pagbutihan ninyo at pagsunod sa ating Panginoon kasi malapit talaga tayo o malapit talaga kayo sa puso niya. Until next week, bye! Come on everybody, open your hearts, open your mouth, and let's give praise to our Lord God Almighty for His unconditional love, for His amazing love for us. You love me so I could be so you gave your
kids, it's time to pray. Let's bow our heads, close our eyes, and say this prayer with me. Lord, we praise and worship you today. Please forgive us for the sins we have done. Thank you for the blessings that you have given us. Thank you for protecting me and my family. Lord, help us to listen and obey your word today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hi kids! My name is Teacher Rega para sa mga hindi pa nakakakilala sa akin. And right now, we are going to talk about how to be a world changer. Ikaw, do you want to be a world changer? And did you know that world changer are the real superheroes? Wow, diba? Gusto nyo ng isa example? Andyan ang ating teachers dito sa Zion Kids TV at sa ating school. Ang ating nanay at tatay. Maging ang ating lola. At syempre, ang ating pastor at pastora. Sila ang mga world changer na dapat nating iniidolo. And did you know kids that you can be a world changer. Yes, tama! Pwede kang maging world changer by influencing and reaching one person at a time. Katulad na lang ng kwento ni Timothy, ng kanyang nanay at ng kanyang lola, who is guiding Timothy when he was a young boy. And now, millions of lives were changed because of his stories, letters, and examples. At alam mo ba kids, na kahit patay na si Timothy, he continues to change the world. Paano nangyari yun? Dahil meron siyang nanay at lola na gumabay sa kanya sa kanyang paglaki. At ano ang tawag dito? Tawag dito ay legacy. Ulitin nga natin. Tama! And now kids, let us watch the story of Lois, ang nanay ni Timothy, at si Eunice, na lola naman ni Timothy, who is responsible for making Timothy a man of faith. Tara, panoorin natin. Kumusta mga bata? Meron akong kwento. Ito ay tungkol sa sulat ni Paul para kay Timothy. Tara at alamin natin kung ano ang masasabi ni Paul tungkol sa pananampalatayang na ipasa ni Lola Loida at ni Nana Eunice para kay Timothy. Hindi ko nalilimutan ang tapat mong pananampalataya na naunang tinaglay ng iyong lolang si Loida at ni Eunice na iyong ina. Natiti ako na sa iyo rin ang pananampalatayang ito. Nasabi ito ni Paul dahil si na Lola Loida at si Eunice ang nagturo kay Timothy tungkol sa Diyos. Iminulat ni Lola Loida at Nana Eunice si Timothy sa salita ng Diyos mula pagkabata. Si Lola Loida ay isang magandang halimbawa bilang isang lola para kay Timothy para sa pagmamahal at pananampalataya sa Panginoon. Ang pananampalataya ni Lola Loida ay naipasa niya sa kanyang apong si Timothy. Siya ay isa sa mga babae na kumikilos para sa kaharian ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng kanyang tapat at matibay na pananampalataya. Amen! Now kids, what can we learn or imitate from this verse or story? Number one, 
a world changer is a believer of Jesus. Did you know that Eunice is a true believer of Jesus? 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 5 I remember the sincere or genuine faith you have, the kind of faith that your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice also had. I am sure that you have it also. Did you know that the first and second Timothy was written by Paul para kay Timothy? Ang galing di ba? Parang love letter. At ang sabi doon sa verse na binasa natin ay Timothy, nakita ko ang totoong pananampalataya ng lola mo at ng nanay mo sa iyo. Genuine and sincere faith means true and consistent. Hindi perfect, pero honest. At ang true believer ni Jesus ay dapat una change by Jesus. At ang number two chain to Jesus. At ang pangalawa nating character a world changer is a fighter or a warrior in life. The name Eunice is a Greek name which means literally good victor or Eunica. Eu means good or noble. Nika meaning victory, winner, or conqueror. In other words, the word Eunice is a powerful name. It means she is a conqueror, a fighter, and a warrior in life. The principle of Eunice is this. The love of a mother and sacrifice is never exhausted, never changes, never tired, endures through it all even in the face of difficult challenges and condemning world. Ang pangatlo nating character, a world changer, is a decipher of her family or children. Let us read this verse. On 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 14 to 17, But you must continue in the things which you have learned and been assured of, knowing from whom you have learned them, and that from childhood you have known the Holy Scriptures which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scriptures is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped, from the good work. At kids, ito naman ang 4S na legacy na iniwan ni Eunice kay Timothy. Savior, Scripture, Spiritual Discipline, at Service. Ulitin nga natin, Savior, Scripture, Spiritual Discipline, at Service. Very good kids! Ang ibig sabihin ng pinag-aralan natin today, a world changer changes his heart first, then lead others to change their heart. Gaya ni Louise at Eunice, they are a changed person in Christ. At ito, ang gumabay sa kanila para lumakad si Timothy in Jesus Christ. At ito rin ang tinularan ni Timothy. Now, how can we become a world changer? Kids, as we change ourselves, we help others to change themselves too. Pwede tayo maging Ate Eunice. 
Ate Louise, at Kuya Timothy sa ibang mga kabataan or kids na kilala natin. That's all for now, kids, and see you later sa ating Kids Talk. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light. Zion Kids, that's all for today. Oops, hindi pa tayo tapos. Join us in our Kids Talk. So, paano? See you again next Sunday. Tandaan, pag 4pm na, Zion Kids TV na! Your online kids' church. Worship, learn, and enjoy!